Thank you very much for joining us today, Bill. This is the Local Business Showcase, and today we're showcasing uh, your business, um, which is located both in Orangeville and Grand Valley, and it's called Glass Craft. Can you tell us a little bit more about how you started uh, Glass Craft and, uh, and why you did? Well, basically, uh, the shop got started in 1979, uh, so we've been around a little over 40 years now. It was started to actually supply stained glass products to my students when I was teaching night school and uh, there was no source of supplies. So I started bringing in glass and solder and lead came into a small shop Basically, uh, it grew from that. It sort of got away from us, um, actually. It got a little large. We don't blow glass. Oh. We do kiln foreign glass. Mostly, uh, we are doing and working in cold glass. So it's, we produce windows, uh, stained glass windows, and other kind of products. Anything made out of cold glass, which is sh uh, flat and I've been working in the craft since the 60s actually. Um, my first course was um, the Ontario College of Art and when I, uh, that's re really where I started producing our first uh, stained glass windows. Mostly uh, what we do is we uh, create windows, stained glass windows. And these are commissioned pieces they're ordered and we design and build them and then uh, very often select them. We've done a lot of church work. We do restoration work uh, of old uh, stained glass windows. Uh, we also do a bit of kiln work. We can uh, actually paint on glass and then um, do a traditional way of working, mostly for churches and uh, the paint has actually burned into the glass. We can also do kiln form work where we can bend glass in, into different shapes. We can also sandblast glass to create designs. We can do acid etching as well. So there are all kinds of different techniques that we can play with. Um, some of our work has gone as far as Japan, um, Texas, uh, all over the world virtually. How has the pandemic impacted uh, your business and your teaching? Quite a bit actually. Um, there are actually three areas that our shop is active in. One is teaching and that's gone by the books. We've stopped teaching and that's one of the sources of income that has dried up. The purchase of small items that we produce in our shop, very little of that goes out now. The majority of work now is either orders and um, uh, supplies of um, stained glass materials, metals and glass to hobbyists. And that's the majority of the what goes out now from our shop, and that's done, you know, without contact, yes. So hopefully this pandemic will sort of end and we'll go back to our regular sort of activities. We'll survive as long as people are purchasing supplies and tools and things of that sort. Normally we would have two other employees and uh, we don't no longer have that until after the this COVID thing is over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, is there anything you'd like to share with uh, our community uh, about your business and uh, uh, or in general? Just basically to thank the people that are thinking about uh, purchasing and are purchasing supplies and tools and things of that sort in ordering projects uh, that we can continue working on. That's basically it. I've, I've browsed through your website, so I, I really like the stuff right. you guys have done. So, uh, it's uh, it's very unique and special, and and you're certainly a, 
a vibrant part of our community. So we, we can't wait to see what else you and your business uh, come up with. Great, thank you.